brain this old lady across the back of her own ladle. With her own ladle. I'm sorry. Don't trust the faculty. Table, you baby. rip Riz out of there, Hell yeah. and a slimy piece of parchment falls out of his hand, covered in strange runes. I'm gonna try to shoot it out of her hand. <laughs> that one. Oh. Orgug's dead. Oh, oh my no. god! Did I die? Uh, full dead. Yeah. Yeah, full dead. Okay. Ah. Life for a life. Hey, Mr. Gibbons. Principal Eggfort takes out a gun and shoots Mr. Gibbons in the head. <laughs> Bam! And shoots himself in the head. Gorgog and Kristen, you come back to life. What the fuck? <laughs> Last we left off, our intrepid adventurers, uh, we're, in a, we're in a real spot. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna take a little dip away from Elmville for a second. Through the mists, Kristen, you approach yellow gates of corn and wheat and waving grasses. An endless expanse of heavenly heights unfolds before you. Angels in polo shirts and with nice coiffed hair wave merrily at you as they fly by. And the celestial choirs sing with heavenly joy. You approach the gates having passed from this mortal world, and you hear a warm voice beside you. <sighs> oh, my sweet girl, ah, to behold the heavenly heights, and a warm hand rests on your shoulder, and you see Arthur Eggfort standing next to you. Uh, he smiles and looks at you, his little purple coat, and he says, well, it seems that you had lived a very holy life and had arrived at your final resting place, but I am afraid your work is not done. I'm going to crawl into your backpack, and if you can just go ahead and walk through the gates, they're going to straighten all this out. Wow. You're he going to unzips your backpack. <laughs> and just starts oh. to crawl in. Hey. It's all good, just walk what? in. It's Don't. all good. It's all good. You see his face peering out from the backpack as he zips it closed. It's all good. Just walk in there and we're good. How big is he? Is okay. he like He's a full tiny, human sized like man. Like Voldemort, okay. No, he's a full human sized dude. He just gets in there. Okay. <laughs> and you, you just want me to walk through we're the gates? Just walk in there and everything will sort itself out. Just go ahead and go in there. As you walk through the gates, you see that the figure of Helio himself, a bag of corn kernels at his side, long flowing beard, he looks at you. Wow, Kristen, it's so good to see you. I've, I've known you your whole life, but now you get to see me face to face. This is great. Whoa. You see, he gives you a big hug. It's the warmest hug you've ever felt. As he's hugging you, you feel your backpack jiggling around. You see he's clearly got his eyes closed in the hug. You feel Arthur slip out of the backpack now that he has passed the threshold of heaven. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. And winks and sprints into heaven as fast as he can. <laughs> He uh, was so fast. <laughs> you see, Helio looks up and says, what? Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, I was mentally saying goodbye to a friend I was remembering. Here's the thing, Kristen. We checked. It's not your time. You have more work to do. Oh my god. I know you're gonna do a great job, and I care about you, and what's more, I know that you care about your new friends, and I think that's cool as hell. Thanks. Hey, huh. go knock them out down there. <laughs> I will. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why is, why is there so much suffering in the world? Later, and you <laughs> disappear. You are vanished and <clears throat> snap into your blood-covered body <gasps> on the floor of the cafeteria. It's so weird that you, you lied to Helio. You lied to your god. I don't. <laughs> 
I finessed the truth. <laughs> I, was, I don't know if Helio is as smart. I need another god, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, now we're going to uh, uh, go to another place real quick. Uh, Gorga, you snap into not wakefulness, but some strange, pale consciousness, and you behold a dim forest stretching out around you. Oh, no. <laughs> the leaves fall with a shriek and a whimper and blood runs from the bark of this strange forest. Try to catch a leaf. It slices your hand. Ow! Oh. And then you look through your hand to see the ground beneath it. What? You hear a voice next to you as the leaves part, and the spectral figure of Mr. Gibbons stands up. Oh, wow. Some really powerful feelings here. What happened? Well, I don't... Why are you here? I, uh... Last thing I saw, my boss murdered me. What? And there's a lot of powerful feelings there. His eyes start to glow a little red. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna take me a while to process these feelings. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have some unfinished business. Hey, what? Yeah. Yeah. You're looking awful. I need to have a little talk. Oh, I'm running. Uh, you <coughs> snap awake in your body on the cafeteria floor. Oh uh, my god, he's gonna haunt you forever. <laughs> uh, you uh, are looking at a Fabian that is completely covered in boiling, steaming corn. Uh, uh, Riz, who is uh, likewise uh, covered in, uh, not as steaming corn, but corn nonetheless, uh, uh, and some like partially formed corn gremlins, uh, and he's got a smoking arquebus. Um, Fig, you come up from the floor covered in tuna surprise, with blood coming out of your nose, the sound of your father's distant motorcycle far away. Uh, and uh, you see that Adine is the only one covered in someone else's blood, uh, the sleeves of her coat shorn off, holding a bent ladle with a chunk of tooth and gore hanging off of her jawline. Uh, and you guys are in the cafeteria. So, what do you do? Well, um, I what? run over, I, uh, okay. what is going on? Where is Doreen? She'll save us all. Is she safe? I died. Uh, I don't, I don't. Yeah, let's get Doreen. It, I, it was... My well, shoes were pretty a murder, bad, right? Suicide situation. I Marine died. Is dead. What? You died. I Where's died. Doreen? You died. You died, and you also died. I know. They came I in. God. They had a sort of a rising phoenix situation with uh, some sort of egg that came open, and um, yeah, the big guy shot little guy. I shot I, himself. I, dead. Brought you guys back. So cool. Wait, and I'm Mr. so pissed. I missed it. Mr. I, Gibbons. <laughs> Killed, that's awesome. I killed Doreen, but I didn't mean to. She was attacking me, and then she came back to herself right at the end and gave a really, really intense speech about how it's my fault and I'm gonna be haunted by it for the rest oh, of my I life. Oh, I did hear some of that. And she said something about how the faculty was in on this somehow. So yes. we got to talk to the cops before another teacher sees, because if another teacher sees this, they might be in on this. They might, guys, they might put this on. We need to hide, I think, and get cleaned up. You guys. Well, I don't know this, if we should hide. You guys, this is exactly what teenagers have suspected all along. Adults are the bad ones. Yeah, we can't go to the sure. cops. What if the cops are on in, in on it as I, well? Yeah. My, the cops are not in on it. My mom's a cop, and she's cool. Your mom's yeah, a cop? How old is she? Is, is she? is she 19 or under? No. Then I don't trust I, her. Okay. I can can uh, I kind of look around and see how is there any sign that the phoenix thing happened? Like is the egg still there? Is anything there? Uh, it, everything that would have helped to explain your situation has largely disappeared or vanished. Where's now, Doreen's body? Yeah, are the Doreen, dead bodies there. The dead bodies are there. So here's what's there. <gasps> Doreen's body is there. Uh, there's a lot of corn, cream corn everywhere. Uh, there's some like smashed barrels, both there's some in the pantry and some back in the kitchen. Uh, there's a lot of corn cobs that are freakishly large, but no longer animated. Uh, and also Arthur Eggfort's gun is there. There is no phoenix egg. 
Can I pick in... up the gun? No, don't touch the gun. Nobody touch anything. Don't touch right? anything. Are the bodies of Eggfort? And... I'm just saying it's so rock and roll to have a gun. Wait, don't I touch the gun. Not. I have a gun. I'll let you hold not. my gun later. Please don't I touch saw this gun. Mr. Gibbons. I saw, I think I smuggled Mr. Eggfort into heaven. Oh my god. My fingerprints are I all know. over this murder weapon. Okay, Honestly, I'm I? pro coyote, you so I was to happy heaven? to smuggle. Yeah, I met God, and it was really disappointing. I went. I think I went to hell, and or just with the whatever that we call that. Mr. Gibbons went to hell. Yeah, and he became. He was started turning into like I cut. Well, it's fine now, but I cut my hand, and it, I could see. And then Mr. Gibbons was like a. He said he had unfinished business, and then he be, like became like a demon. Wait, um, demons are a cool thing. We have. Okay. I am not going to stand no, here over these two men's dead bodies. All right. Uh, I'm going to go get that dragon man. All right. He. He. Uh, he uh, I don't. Uh, he seems fine. Well, what if he's? You, uh, what if he's in on it? Yeah. What if he's in on it? We oh can't trust God. any adults. The only one we could trust was Doreen. My parents yeah. are gonna kill me. Speaking of last which, of our words, I need to remember Doreen the way that I know she would want to be remembered. So I take her hairnet and I make some. Uh, Sick, um, uh, what do you call those fucking tights? Nobody fucking cares, all right? <laughs> Where are we? I make some sick fishnet tights. <laughs> okay, Doreen, right. I'll never forget you. For like you one gotta leg. not touch the body. It's down a bit of um, She burned your face. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me a, uh, we'll call this a craft, like an oh intelligence check. Oh, okay, Where are okay. The dead okay. Are we all just standing here watching her so? Um, that's gonna be a 17. Uh, it looks fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> They look great. really good. We're you did glad a great you're job. Honestly, agree. They look fantastic, but that's not important Wait, right now. Is that? Is there anything left of that little rune paper that I shot? Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> fucking fuck! Okay. If if not, okay. if we don't go to his mom, where Can do I do? We I don't want to do that. To see what I would think if I was like a cop, like yeah. with the survey of the scene. Go ahead and make an investigate check. Cool. Uh, twelve. Um. You look around the space, you see that there is the big corn ooze. Uh, what you think about this as basics for a cop is uh, Arthur Eggfort's wound looks self-administered, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the wound Mr. Gibbons will be traceable to Arthur Eggfort's gun. Something confusing happened here that doesn't look like six kids did this whole thing. Right. Uh, you also uh, discover uh, what you think is like the source of of like where the corn ooze came from. There is one uh, barrel, not in the pantry where it was headed towards, but in the back of the kitchen, there's one barrel that it looked like it crawled out of. Oh, can I go investigate what's in there? Uh, uh, yeah, you, if you want to go investigate, absolutely. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to like open it, so I'm like, I don't have to be near it. It's actually it. already open. The barrel was, uh, uh, it looked like the barrel that um, uh, Doreen was serving out of. Oh, can we? Day. Can I cast detect magic on that barrel? Yeah, go for it. I cast detect magic on the barrel. <sighs> Adine's eyes glow brilliant blue. You detect a little trace of a mage hand spell. And the mage hand spell comes from a young elven caster who's you. This was the barrel you lifted Kristen's book out of at lunch earlier today. Fuck. So I'm in that so much jerk. trouble. This it, How is it possible that the only spell that spit on this is my spell? I will say, that's the first thing you detect. Looking further at it, you see any wizard is gonna be able to see all kinds of insane uh, shadow slash infernal demonic magic that occurred here, right? So while the physical evidence of the ooze is gone, clearly some powerful dark magic is, has some residue. However, that will fade over the next hour or two. So there, oh, okay, so we can't like scoop a little so bit. So it might have been a cursed thing of corn and then that jerk threw my Bible into it yeah. and that aggravated it? Yeah, or maybe there was something in your Bible that aggravated it. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Or maybe the jock threw something in your with your Bible. Your Bible has all this stuff about corn. True. I think we should set your Bible on fire. I. I think that we need to get a teacher we very call quickly. My mom. I don't think okay. we should get a teacher. I am teacher. with this no, no, one. No. I'm going to go get a teacher. Why don't you get a teacher? No, I'm going to go get a teacher. Why don't you get a teacher? No, all right. Let's have a vote. No, we need someone to 
someone who is cool, not a teacher, Guys, not cool. affiliated with the school. My I mom have is cool. an in hey, with an adult. An I have an in with an adult that I think I can manipulate. Who? Um, Vice Principal uh, Goldenrod. Fantastic. Let's go get him. He's. Uh, let's just. I. I, I really don't, don't think we're going to agree. We just call the. Cops. Let's just no, we do both. No, guys, we do only have an hour. All right, I'm with the cop mama. Let's idea. just go home and talk about it tomorrow. No, and pretend like a, nothing happened. No, no. you. We need to be more proactive. This than is that. the worst idea. I, I, I must have been against all of it. That is a bad, bad, bad idea. idea. Yes. Oh man. Um. Wait. Can you? Can we study any of this stuff ourselves? I mean, can you guys take a look? I think that we should get the vice principal. Guys, I, don't, are, I don't think it's him. He's. I don't think he's the bad guy. There are girls disappearing from this school. My mom has been investigating it. There's... But not very well. You guys haven't solved a thing about right, those vote. disappearances. I'll, let's vote. Let's Fine. Vote. Let's. I vote that we go somewhere else to talk about this, so we're away from we, the crime then scene. We, we don't have time. We have an hour before all of these spells will disappear. I'm with the, and then I switched that teams I to the vice principal. Vice idea. principal. Vice principal. Your mom. Okay. <laughs> vice principal. No time for vice principal. your mom and I, I walk out of there and to wherever I best believe the vice principal uh, may be. Okay. Fabian strides out of the cafeteria. Um, uh, you walk out, covered head to toe in corn. Hell yes. And oh, you walk into the lawn, you see you pass a, like, sort of like a gentle breeze, there's some birds singing. You see that Vice Principal Goldenhorn is out under a statue of Arthur Eggfort talking to a bunch of young adventurers. You see he goes, well, well, that's marvelous. A group of young freshmen forming their own first adventuring party. I, I remember my first adventuring party. Uh, Mr. Goldenhorn, would you kindly follow me uh, to the cafeteria? Uh, yeah. Mr. Is he Castor, please follow me to the. I, I, I start walking back to the cafeteria. All right, one moment. Hey, Golden Rod. Why are you not in detention? You should be in detention. And you, you we, actually have twice I, as many detentions. I would like to. We can explain everything to you uh, once All you right. finish following Well, there's there. certainly some explaining to do. All right, fantastic. Uh, he strides along with you, looking very officious and pompous. Um, and he comes into the cafeteria. Um, he looks into the. Uh, he looks into the room. Uh, sees Arthur and uh, sees Mr. Gibbons and Doreen and goes, <laughs> and you see fire crackling in his mouth and he, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, all right. What hap What happened? What happened? Are we in danger? Is the, uh, whoever did this still loose? We don't know what happened, but uh... There was a scream, and then the lunch lady went crazy, and there was something in her eyes that, that was demonic in some way. She was possessed, I think. And it all I... started with one barrel of cream corn. And yes, it's right there's, here. there's this, runes this... in the corn barrel, and some monster came out of it and possessed the lunch lady who attacked us and along we with the monster. And we both died, and then Arthur killed... He used the last rising, phoenix egg. Rising eggs. phoenix, he had a phoenix egg. Yes. The, the what? He had a phoenix egg? He had a phoenix egg and then he shot. There's only one of the, phoenixes famously don't lay eggs. They die, turn into ash. And that's like the number one thing about phoenixes. I don't fucking know what you want us to tell you, all right? We just told you what the fuck happened. I'm scrambling to figure out this is a. Well, they were dead. They were killed by the. They died. They were dead. You two students died. I got Arthur into heaven. What? I. Hey man, I got Arthur into heaven. You're kind of freaking out, so maybe do you want. I am not, I'm a disciplinarian. It's, you obviously have been through something traumatic. We are going to get Mr. Gibbons. He's going to talk. Mr. Gibbons is dead. He's right Why? there, he's dead. He's what dead. happened? Arthur oh, no. shot him, and then Arthur shot himself to save us. Principal Eggfort shot the guidance counselor in the head? <laughs> yeah. And then himself. And then I think Mr. Gibbons became a monster. You don't Honestly, need to tell him about that. I, I, I have to be clear. Can I pull Riz aside? Riz, I'm sorry. I, I think I did this wrong. You I, should yes, go no, get your this, mouth. He's <laughs> just going to be a middleman. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, uh, okay. Well, listen. There is a protocol for these things. We are going to call the police. So no. let us Thank call the police. You. Uh, yes. You, all of you, um, you see that he uh, uh, well, yells out of the door. Don't call just any police. You don't call it. I don't we have their individual police. numbers. We have his mom's we number. We could have called my mom. Oh, going don't to... be spiteful. Yeah, please don't be spiteful. Please don't be right, spiteful don't right spiteful. now. I feel like you should be spiteful. I was on your side. You're on my side. But I still feel like you should be spiteful. That's enough of everyone! This is a tragedy. Uh, you see, he says, uh, I need some faculty in here for these children. No, 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 no
lady get right before she, involved. while she was trying to kill us, as she died, she said that somebody on the faculty was involved. Uh, you see, he says, the, we're involved with, this is enough. All of you, you come with me right now. You, the six of you, come with me right now. You come here. And he strides down the hallway. Um, you see that a couple other members of the faculty uh, approach. Uh, you see that there's a huge, uh, rocky looking barbarian. Uh, this guy Can I try to hide to make sure that the faculty doesn't try to clear up the crime scene? Uh, yeah, go I'm ahead and try to hide check. as I'm yeah. walking with the thing. Uh, 14, stealth. Uh, okay, um, so you hide in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. um, you see, uh, uh, he looks at them too, and you see he says, uh, very well. Uh, you see, he says, Porter, Jace, you will stay in there. Make sure no students go in. Uh, the big rock guy with the war hammer says, yeah, so uh, take a look. And you see that the half-elf sort of sorcerer looking guy says, okay, is there a problem? Is something kind of going that doesn't, and he looks in and sees the bodies and goes, oh my God, uh, screams, they rush in. Uh, what was the reaction of the, of the other guy? The rock guy? The rock guy. Uh, make an insight check. Oh, baby, this is gonna be so good. Um, that's gonna be a 20, not Nat, but <laughs> as close to it uh, as you can get. <laughs> the Earth Genazi, the barbarian, uh, kind of rocky looking guy, um, doesn't look surprised. Uh, you see, uh, they both walk in there. Uh, you see Golden Horde says, you with me right now. And he walks to a small classroom that's empty because the school's been let out opens it up, walks in, closes the door behind him, and he goes, all right, all right, uh, Mr. Gibbons is dead. Um, listen, are you all right? You did the right thing by, uh, well, you, in the future, feel free to call the police, but you did the right thing, uh, going and finding an adult. Did you, did you defeat the monster, is that why you died? You died in combat? Yes, right. all of us did. We were all alive the whole time and we all contributed to the battle. I was killed by a piece of corn that came into life. <laughs> I was eaten by a piece of corn. I was I... swallowed by a corn monster. Mm -hmm. I, I did lots of moves corn and cutie. spells and stuff. I was you a really died, big part of the you battle. You passed out immediately. immediately. I don't know. She's dead. No, she I don't died. actually I never fully died. died. Yeah, I, don't, I remember she that. She says, well, I, I, I want you to know um, that I'm very sorry that this has happened. Um, this is a traumatizing event. I want you to know that you are in good company, all right? I remember the first time I died and was brought back to life. What? This where is, did you go? Where did I go? When you were yeah, dead, what, was what it did like? you? I saw a vision of an endless plain of gold what? and I was swimming in it like it was water. That it's very different and than what I experienced. The platinum dragon Bahamut soared overhead and he said, you've been good, Golden Horde. You have as many coins as you want. And my mom. All you want is coins? <sighs> right, you went to hell, okay? You clearly yeah. went. I think he it's was not, something I know, empty. gold is a very spiritual thing for my people. I'm sorry. It's not a, it's not a empty. I saw a horrible place and Mr. Gibbons was there. And it felt Mr. like- Mr. Gibbons was in hell? You don't even, he's, he's our guidance counselor. Like he's, I guess Going he's, to hell is honestly the most embarrassing thing. Please and don't. You're hey, leave him alone. <laughs> if I went somewhere and there was a bunch of skeletons, I'd make a party of it. I just don't like what? that kind of stuff. <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. I don't like if I went somewhere that was scary, I uh, would, it Professor wouldn't Golden necessarily Hall, be Please hell. don't tell my dad. I mean, you know for sure I have to tell your dad. Do you, well, uh, you spin me, spin me she a situation really where it's okay that I don't tell. She was your really dad. heroic. You she can tell him that she heroic. just she killed she did a lot. He just won't get it. He already thinks that the adventuring academy is stupid. My understanding is you. He stops himself and says, "I understand why you don't want me to say anything. What I will tell your father is that you very heroically." Um, ended the life of oh, God. Uh, a woman who uh, lived a long life. That's no, don't tell him that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I, maybe just be like. I worked with Doreen. I'm processing grief as well. Oh, okay. maybe okay. you recognize this. I show my legs. See, he goes, <laughs> why? That, 
I'm amazed that it <laughs> fits to the contour of your leg. It's a it's for a head. It's, it's a completely D, different shape. It's what D would have wanted. D? I think you know. You gave her a nickname already? Yeah. Posthumous nicknames notwithstanding, I want you to know that this is a traumatizing event and you are in good company. Here, here. All who adventure. You can't drink <laughs> here! It's a school! You see, he snatches it? it out of your hand and goes, Look, you are all within your right to ask to be transferred from this school. Nobody would fault you for not wanting to continue your education here. This is so weird because I originally didn't want to go to this school, but now that I know something's afoot, I'm going to come here. I think I want to stay too. That was. I don't know, I'm starting to have questions about my religion. All the evil stuff was corn, and it happened because my Bible went into the thing, and then God was like a, a frat boy. <laughs> God was wearing those sandals that had bad. the beer bottle opener at the bottom of the sandal, like it you sounds... want to put the bottom of your shoe on top of something you're going to drink. There's I a could world show where you that's really chill way. and cool. Hmm? That's better than leaves that cut open your hands I hell, just, just call it hell, all right? <laughs> I don't no, know that it's so metal. What if it's metal heaven? I just can't to. go to Mumple. I mean, I have to stay here because I'm Mumple not going is to Mumple other. either. I don't think any Mumple. of us want to go to Mumple. Goldador says, Mumple is a fine. The school no, is the it's ungifted. Not. You don't have to be nice around us, all right? Let's be honest. Keeper? Let's be honest. Yeah. What we need from you right Christ now is honesty keeper. and directness. All right, all right. I'm going to. Go call your parents. We're gonna cancel your detention early. Hell yeah. Obviously. Nice. We... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least Come you on, got man. something out of this. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. No, I'm traumatized. But, you know, there was a brief Hell moment yeah. in which I forgot. <laughs> I get it. I get oh, it. sorry. Yes. No, I'm not even talking about that. Oh, okay. No, I just got it. You know, just like, oh, I forgot everything that happened. Now it's all rushing back into Christ. I'm so, so sorry. So wait, can we never say hell yeah now? No, I was, you're gonna get all hot and bothered. No, you guys, I was saying hell? exactly. I all mean right. the exact opposite. I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to call your parents. Um, you see, he says uh, we're gonna take care of this. All right. Um, you see, he uh, walks out. Um, Bye. Uh, he walks out. Um, oh, God. Uh, after a little while, Coach Daybreak comes in. Um, you see that Coach Daybreak looks over and looks at you, especially Chris, uh, Kristen, and goes, Gosh, kiddo, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. He's got a big stack of owl bear, uh, like, sweatpants and sweatshirts. And he's like, Are we all on the team now? No, it's for your <laughs> shit's covered in blood. Oh. Sorry, your stuff. It's okay. We, I'm on my way out. <laughs> I jumped to a really weird conclusion. You see, he sorry. says, if you want to hit the showers and get cleaned up before your folks get here, here's some towels, here's some clothes. You can go for it. All right? Can I sense motive on this guy? Do an insight check, yeah. Six. This is a good and decent man. He I could have told you, you that. I've grown clothes. up with him. I want to do an inside check as well. Yeah, go for it. Oh. <laughs> so that one. That one? You got it. Uh, this guy, it's weird because you are a half orc. This guy could be your dad. <laughs> dad? <laughs> <You're not. laughs> yeah, that's exactly what a nat one that's gets nat all one of us. Uh, this could be your dad. Inside <laughs> check about everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> you see, if if you coach, my dad, could be coach dad. Daybreak looks at you and goes, <laughs> Are you my dad? No, because he's a half orc and you're a half orc. So. I know. I'm a human. Oh. I'm a full human. Coach, he oh. went to hell today. It's a, it's a you see, whole he says, thing. God, kiddo, you gotta, you gotta go. I'm work. gonna go take a shower. Go take a shower. Go get yourself cleaned up. Yeah, we're I, all gonna go take showers. Uh, you yeah. see, I'm not going to. I'm gonna rub a little more blood on myself. I also am not interested in taking a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna scrub myself. <laughs> I'm so gonna hot. definitely take a shower. There's corn in my uh, red hair. Uh, one by one, your guys' parents come to pick you guys up. Um, uh, uh, you see that Golden Horde walks in um, and uh, looks at the six of you and says, uh, your parents are here. Uh, I've told them some of what happened, but I didn't want to go into detail because uh, my responsibility is not solely to them, but also to you. Um, they know that there was combat they know that some of you passed away. They know that um, 
Well, they know that you killed who you killed. And you told them that we all had an equal part in the fight, right? I don't know that I thought to mention that okay. specifically. <laughs> you, you didn't tell them that I killed her with a ladle, right? Because that's worse than not doing anything. Your mother asked a question about what spell you used, and I think my silence oh, spoke volumes. Oh, was. Uh, well, adieu. Everyone have a good night. Um, and you guys wander off. Mm -hmm. Am I, was I with them? Oh, sorry. You were in the cafeteria the yeah. whole time. Um, you're there with Jace and Porter in the cafeteria. Um, actually, hold on a second. Uh, you see at the moment that uh, Goldenhorn says, Porter's the... will have a good night's sleep. Where is that goblin? Where is that guy? Oh, the ball? Oh, he's, yeah, what? the ball. The ball. Oh, he's probably in the shower. He just, yeah, he's yeah. in the shower. He shower. takes shower. really shower. long showers. Long if showers. the teacher is your dad, <laughs> they have to tell you, right? <laughs> what? There's, no, there's got to be a rule about that somewhere. If a teacher is your dad. Are you is thinking of a cop? If they're a cop, they have they to have tell to you? If a teacher, no, I think I've heard that. If a teacher's your dad, <laughs> they have to tell you. You right? couldn't even get through that. <laughs> you see, Wait. he says, I, first of all, there's a sort of epistemological question hanging in the air, which is they might not know that they're your dad, oh. right? So Whoa. that's a possibility. Okay, never Also, mind. we probably shouldn't end it. It's probably not your dad. The odds seem low. I think okay. that your dad is going to come to visit you in like a in like a vision at some point because that's what happened with me. Yeah, that's that might be true, but that's an irresponsible thing to tell an adopted <laughs> child. I think that. I just got to knock myself out. No, <laughs> okay. no, don't listen All right. to Fig. Everyone go home. <laughs> I'll go home. Um, we're going to cut back to uh, uh, in the cafeteria, Riz. You are concealed. Um, from sight, uh, you see... Much like a ball. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a ball, but I'm a ball. You're trying this? to be a stick. Um, you see that uh, Jace walks in, uh, who is the sorcery teacher here. Um, uh, sorcery, in your first day here, you heard Jace teaching some classes. Sorcery is an innate ability of people to cast magic, so a sorcery teacher is kind of just like an older adult friend to like hang out and talk shop for the most part. Uh, but you see he goes like... Arthur dead on the first day? Mr. Gibbons gone? Doreen? <laughs> Wild. And you see uh, the barbarian says, Yeah, seems uh, things are getting started, you know, a little earlier this year than normal. Um, you see that Jace uh, casts a sort of divination spell, um, starts looking around, uh, and you see he goes, My God, it's like some kind of conjuration happened here. Looks like divine in nature. Yeah, some demonic entity, maybe fallen angels from the Helionic faith, something like that. See, so he goes, that's bizarre. He's like, what happened to the ward? We shouldn't be able to summon creatures on school grounds. And you see that uh, Porter looks over and says, well, wards are like walls, you know. If you're strong enough, you can break them, I suppose. Uh, you see that Jace says, Everything you say sounds fucking creepy, man, and I gotta be straight with you about that. I don't know why you talk that way. I'm trying to make a bridge between you and me. We're coworkers. I'd like to get along. You know, you're not required to be my friend, but like a little cordiality, man, like spoonful of sugar. Help me out, man. I'm here trying to make something happen. Uh, you see that Porter says, I'm gonna go check on those kids. It doesn't seem right that they're all alone. You see that uh, Jace says, well, Hey man, they're not alone. They have each other. And they kind of do have each other because they've missed the window to form an adventuring party. So they're kind of de facto one, unless they leave school. There's a couple options open. All right, well, I'm gonna go log this stuff in the uh, sort of arcane register. You have a good one, man. Uh, and you see that Jace leaves and Porter just sort of guards the door for the rest of the time that you're there. Cool, I just wait, <laughs> I guess. Uh, about 15 minutes after that, cops show up. Okay. And your mom's there. Okay. Uh, yeah, they come in, they start to sort of put the tape up. You see that there's this uh, old looking gnome who's like got a, a bit of a paunch and a trench coat. And you see that he's got these sort of glowing blue eyes from like a permanent detect magic situation going. And he pulls a stub of a cigar out of his mouth and he's like, looky, looky, what we got here? A little old murder suicide, huh? 
Yeah, I tell you what, man, I ain't seen a Phoenix egg since uh, way back in 1112. You know what I'm talking about? Man, man. Look at this poor son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> you see that your mom walks up next to him. Uh, she says, Dusty, uh, what are we looking here in terms of arcane? He's like, arcane? I tell you, Sklander, you wish this was arcane. This is pure divine magic. Thing got summoned up some kind of dark, uh, I don't know, antithesis, right? He says, you ever heard that theory about uh, the, high, the higher planes and the lower planes? You, know, you got angels and you got fiends, right? But they say the most powerful fiends used to be angels. You know what I'm talking about? So you got someone like Asmodeus, who's uh, the, you know, the boss of the nine hells all the way at the bottom. Got like a reverse hierarchy there. He used to be up in the celestial heights, running around, doing good, all kind of stuff like that. Um, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, I will. I'm gonna. I'll wait for a moment when like the maybe the other guys turned around or something to kind of like let my mom know I'm there. <laughs> kind of cool. like give her. A... I'll make a slide of hand check to get your mom's attention. Sure. Uh, pretty good. Twenty one. Awesome. Um, you see that your mom, her eyes dart over to you, hiding, and you see that she's sort of writing things in a notebook. She looks over at you and goes. Chris, I wanted to call you. I was. I made friends. You made friends. Oh, sweetheart, that's great. They didn't want to. They didn't trust me. Why are you in the murder scene? I was here. You were here present. I was one of the kids. Yeah. God. Go sneak out the window. Meet me in the parking lot. Okay. Sneak out. Um. Cool. Give me a stealth check. Oh, hey, hell yeah, dude. Uh, 27. Oh, yes. So slick. so slick, dude. <laughs> Out of there, dude. Um, you guys get picked up by your parents. Um, uh, uh, quickly, can we like exchange numbers in the parking lot or something so we can start like a text chain? A good group text. <laughs> Let's just talk tomorrow. <laughs> That okay. sounds good okay. to me. That sounds like a Well, are you, yeah, guys, that's fine. are you guys on line? I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I'm also going to leave. Hey, I'm real sorry. quick um, before we go, like, I just want to tell you guys, like, I know that I don't really wear my heart on my sleeve, so, like, you guys might not tell this, but, like, I trust you guys. I think you're cool. Like, you're cool with me. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying, too. Like, we just went through a lot together. Are you at least on line? You guys can find me by my name, and then we can all just, like, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I... You, have, I, you all have my business card. I am, so but I, my parents monitor everything, I, and I feel I, like I'm definitely. Let's just meet here tomorrow. Why don't we yeah, meet in the we'll parking just, lot tomorrow we'll morning? Tomorrow? Okay, but I do once a week. I it's not a Bible study. Okay, but it's oh, like I'm okay. 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 No. No. Okay. no, you guys go no. head out. Snacks. Um, you see, uh, uh, Gorgug, um, you get into, uh, you squeeze <laughs> into the back of a tiny little gnomish car. <laughs> And you see that your mom and dad have both clearly been crying so hard. And you see they look back there and they go, Hey, bud, how was your first day at school? It was bad. Oh, <laughs> buddy. And they both clamber back and give you a big hug. I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bud, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. Have you ever died? You know, um, it's not that I've died. But you're not alone, so I don't want to ever say that I haven't gone through something you've gone through. <laughs> I just rolled down the window and just put my whole head out. <laughs> <laughs> you see that both of your parents are just like, both your parents just stare ahead with this look of like, we can't understand our son. And they just drive <laughs> off together. Yeah. Um, uh, Kristen, your parents pull up. Uh, in the station wagon, you see your three little brothers are all in the back. Um, you see that uh, your dad looks at you and goes, <laughs> "Wow, uh, what happened, kid? Are you okay?" Yeah, I think I'm okay. Uh, Mom and Dad give you a big hug. Yeah, it was uh, really scary. I think I went to heaven and I met Helio. <gasps> oh, we gotta tell Pastor Amelia. Yeah. You gotta tell you. I have actually a lot of questions after meeting Helio. Do you think we could stop at the bookstore on the way home? The books? What? Uh, do you mean the church? Yeah, or no, the church bookstore. I need to get some books that explain other religions also. Get in the back of the you Okay, okay, okay. Get in the back of the car. <laughs> um, you guys take off. Um, 
Uh, Fig, um, <laughs> you see that a giant griffin lands in the lawn and your mom stands up, gets off of it. <sighs> Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, I fought valiantly. <laughs> I was part of the fight. <laughs> Baby, I believe you. And she kisses you on the head. Thanks, right. Mom. Hop on, let's get out of here. Um, by the way, I know that Dad drove a motorcycle. She blanches completely white in the face. And I just want to say, in terms of choosing men, that's pretty metal. <laughs> she smiles, a little sort of half-embarrassed smile. You guys get on the griffin, take off. Uh, Riz, you meet your mom out in the parking lot. You see, she looks at you and says, sweetie, what the hell is going on? Oh, well, the, um, well, I'm sure you saw the crime scene, but they resurrected two of our friends. We were attacked by some kind of corn monster, but the lunch lady, while she was possessed, or rather after she was possessed, said that one of the faculty was involved. So I hid under the table to make sure that they didn't mess with the crime scene. One of the faculty was involved. That's what the lunch lady said before she died. Okay, and the lunch lady, you trust her. She's someone that you use credible. I don't see why she would lie right before she died. Okay. I mean, it was worth looking into. I wasn't just gonna trust that two random faculty members that I didn't know yet were gonna not do something. She looks at you and says, that was extremely reckless to hide in there, because even if they were criminals, then you'd be in there alone with two adult criminals, kiddo, okay? I know. I'd, I'd rather have you safe than crack the case, you understand? Okay. Okay, get in the car, let's get home. Um, Adine, you see that your mother and father show up. I'm standing so stiff. <laughs> uh, you see that uh, your father uh, pulls up, your mother gets out of the passenger seat, your father does not get out. Your mother walks up to you briskly, kind of has like a hand up over the side of her face. She says, uh, your father would like you to get into the car. He doesn't want to step out and be seen here. I don't have to have him step out for me to get into the car. I'm not an idiot. He wanted to let you know that he wasn't going to step out. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? How very mature. I don't think that this is a proper time for you to be chastising your mother. You are, first of all, sleeveless. And second of all, I understand that you defended yourself through your martial prowess. I say nothing to them for the rest of the night. Uh, <laughs> you get into the car with them as you're driving along. You see that uh, your father doesn't say anything, mother doesn't say anything until you're right about to get home and your father says, I never thought I would have a daughter that would receive detention. And he skips out of the car and walks into the house. And in time I'm like, that's the thing he's mad about? <laughs> I killed a woman with a ladle and he's mad that I got detention. My parents suck so much. I know, I kinda wanna fuck up your parents. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, Fabian, um, uh, you see that uh, uh, a, a huge, uh, like it's like a, a long hot rod, like multiple engines, you can like hear the elementals screaming in the engines. Um, uh, uh, pulls up, it's just like red and gilded. It has like a figurehead of like a woman holding a trident on the front of it. Oh, um, so dope, uh, it's awesome. Rolls up and you see your father steps out of it, goes, ha, there's the boy. Now, tell me true, lad, did you fight with honor? Uh, it was, uh, I, I did, Papa. I did. Can we, uh, can we get in the Fight car? with honor? That'll be 40 lashes! You fight to win, boy! Uh, Papa, <laughs> Papa, can we go home? He sweeps you up in a hug and he says, My boy, oh, you did violence your first day at school. I love you more than words can say, my boy. Uh, Papa, can we, uh, can we please go home? I just, I just want to go home. You, wanna go, you don't want to go downtown? You could, we could, we could go down there. We could tell people about your exploits. No, Papa, I just, I just want to go home. See, so he looks at you and goes, oh, "All right, a little confusing. That's all right. Let's hop in." He opens the door for you, gets into the car with you. Papa, do you remember the first time you watched someone die? The first time I watched someone die, it was me father. He was lying in his deathbed, and I had a dagger 
up under his ribs, in his heart. And I looked him in his eyes and I said, you'll never speak to me out of the side of your mouth again. And then Mama took me back to first grade. Um, right. Uh, in that, that is that relatable to your experience? Uh, 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 We're the same, you and I. Uh, we are. Yes, we are, Papa. Uh, uh, <laughs> but don't you try to put a dagger in my heart. Uh, It'll be the last thing you ever do. Of course, Papa. I'd put you in the ground before I let you kill me. Uh, I never would. I never would. But, uh, I just... love you with all my heart, boy. All <laughs> oh. my heart. And I you. Uh. Let's go get this lad a drink. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys head off in the car. Uh, wonderful. Full rest. You guys, you know, you guys were already at full hit points, Can but all conditions removed. You guys are second level now. Yes. Yeah, Hell yeah. bitch. Um, I don't Hell know if this yeah. is possible in this world. I'm fine with But is there a way for everyone when they wake up to get an alert of some kind that I've added them to a system called Prayer Chain? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say that that falls under the auspice of your thaumaturgy. Of okay, your... yeah, cool. Yeah. So they sure. all get a little vision that appears and is like, you've been added to Prayer Chain by <laughs> Kristen Applebee's. Oh and then it just says, hi guys, we can communicate on here. Can there I... are three other old women who are using this for their real prayers, but they're not gonna understand anything we're talking about, so speak freely. Can I use my thaumaturgy to make prayer chain erupt in flame? <laughs> uh, you see that it, it doesn't overwhelm the whole channel, but there is basically like a, just a, a gif of that. Gif? Gif? Yeah. Gif. GIF. Yeah. GIF. I hate gif. GIF for graphics, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, you see, uh, some fire appears in the prayer chain. Um, you huh. see uh, an old, there's a string of halfling. I don't know if any of you understand, uh, which basically seems like. Oh, I do. Uh, you see that there is an old woman saying, <laughs> what is this? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> oh my God. Um, the rest of you guys uh, uh, are all on the prayer chain together uh, and you arrive at school. Um, school begins with an outdoor assembly. Um, you see Principal Golden Horde up at a lectern. He's got a long black coat on. There's no longer a suit. He's got like a black overcoat on. And there's kind of like a funereal thing going on here. Um, you see that there are little flowered wreaths for Principal Eggfort, Mr. Gibbons, and Lunch Lady Doreen. Um, he stands up as people assemble. You see, he says, uh, Students of the Eggfort Adventuring Academy. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday was not a great day for the school. Um, here, here. <laughs> get, get the drink, get the drink. Do we not, who's at the front desk that's letting this happen? Um, you see that, uh, <laughs> you see that one of the faculty comes over and says, can I take the, can I get the glass? Can yeah, I you take... want some? I pour a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna need to take both of those. I'm gonna okay, take both okay. of those. You, you, you want Fair, you I've got it. more, that's it. cool. What? I get mm -hmm. it. Okay. Um, you see that uh, Golden Horde says, <sighs> um, risk is inevitable in the lives of those that would seek to do great works upon the face of the world. Danger, combat, and even death. These are the things we risk to make a difference. And while we've never had three on the first day, for sure people have died here before. It's an adventuring school. People die. It's frankly insane that we're open. <laughs> I'll be for real. It uh, doesn't fully make sense that we are an accredited, we're a publicly funded school. We get money from the government and we've had, this, uh, again, never three faculty in the same year, let alone the first day. This um, is a great eulogy. It's crazy huh? that we're back at school the second day. <laughs> it's not a day off. <laughs> yeah, you'd think there'd be like a day of remembrance. Yeah. Also, what is this weird thing about the government? God. <laughs> um, so? He's sweating. He's sweating uh, a lot. Did you guys get my prayer chain? Yes, yeah, shut up and please stop. It's very invasive. Uh, basically, uh, I just wanted to say to you that you are safe here. But, you know, 
don't be an idiot. You know, stay on your toes because it's it's gonna it's gonna come up again. Um, How many people do you I think are gonna like, die today? Okay, yeah, can I, try I feel like we like started to like in <laughs> this. We're starting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a uh, make a, oh, a flat charisma check. Great. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, you lean back with your cool kid attitude and get a clap going, and everyone just starts clapping. And Voldemort looks relieved to have it out. Great. Yes, that's the principal, Egg Force. Uh, lunch Lady Doreen and Mr. Gibbons. Um, I'll never forget uh, Principal Egg Fort. Uh, the school bears his name, and uh, it will be hard to live up to that. Well, uh, moving on, uh, some quick announcements. Um, oh. Wow, I mean, talk, yeah. talk about a hard transition. <laughs> hard pivot from uh, the eulogy to a I know, obviously, you see the murmuring of the crowd starts. He says, obviously hard. Obviously, this is not taking away from the grief that we are all moving through. If anybody has grief to process, you can talk to Mr. Gibb. Nope. You can talk to, I guess, this. I guess me. I guess <laughs> it's me you would talk to. Come. And talk to me. Can ah. I start a goldenrod chant? <laughs> His name's Go golden. Make a flat. His name's Golden Horn. <laughs> make a flat. Okay. Make a what? Uh, charisma check. This is a flat charisma check. Uh, that's gonna be a nineteen plus six. <laughs> golden rod. 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 Okay. <laughs> It's different than my name, and I guess that's funny to children. <laughs> Why did we do that? Yeah, now, that was weird. I was uh, kind quick of funny announcements. At the got weird. Uh, uh, the vote came in. Uh, we're bringing prom king and queen back this year, so that's fun. Oh, A light geez. note. Maybe it can be Doreen and Egg for it. Whoa. Okay, it's gonna be okay, right. students. But again, this is I... not really a back and forth. It's more of an announcement exactly. situation. <clears throat> uh, you see, he says. Um, we are looking for some new kitchen staff and a guidance counselor, so if you know any adults, Is this parents, really so? I would think you would post this in the newspaper or something. Uh, <laughs> You're asking me if I know any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I give that a pass? No, no. <laughs> it's effortless. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, okay. Um, Goldenrod is falling apart. Uh, you see, he says, <laughs> we will also be introducing um, uh, a new system to, for safety purposes. Uh, please give a warm uh, round of applause for one of our very own seniors and the head of the AV club, uh, Mr. Biz Glitterdo. Um, you see that uh, senior who's this like very like, Chubby little uh, pixie is about like a foot tall. He's got like a little T-shirt that has some like eight-bit pixel thing on it and butterfly wings. He's got like little uh, like sort of thick glasses and like a little like spike of hair, long sideburns. Um, he's like little Chuck Taylor kind of Converse sneakers. Flies up uh, and he goes, uh, "Hey guys! Oh, wow! Super excited to be addressing the school. Uh, AV Club spends a lot of time." behind the scenes, so you can imagine how excited I am to uh, come up here and shoot the breeze with the number one uh, student body in Elmville. Uh, Woo! Bruce, you see, he looks, you, he looks at you and says, yeah, this guy gets it. He makes genuine eye contact with you and immediately is like, I like this guy. See, he goes like, yeah, all the, right. The so, ball, don't encourage it. <laughs> so he ball. goes, uh, so basically, we're going to be taking uh, a lot of uh, dream crystals and we're going to be putting them up over the school. These are just basically going to be recording uh, clairaudience and clairvoyance information, so just sound and picture. Uh, it's basically just a security system, so we're going to be able to see what's going on at the school uh, so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen again. Uh, <laughs> wow, Riz, you really turned on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see that, uh, you Pick see that, a side. Uh, there's a drow kid in the very back who's like a, like a junior or something who goes like, Police state! <laughs> Fucking police state! Panopticon! Uh, you see that uh, <laughs> the drow goes like, that fuck yeah! Yeah, dude. You see that uh, Biz goes, oh, it's okay, I see that we're having some negative reaction, that's understandable. Actually, guys, it's super cool, and if you're interested in learning how it works, uh, applause. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make the Christmas check. Great. Uh, ten. 
Uh, you clap a little bit, uh, and you see the other people turn to look for you because they're confused if you like this or not. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. Uh. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, Isn't question. it true that these crystals can be magically manipulated? Oh, dream crystals are extremely complicated pieces of arcana attack, but they are a, a, a very skilled or proficient technician. So is gonna... perhaps a member of the faculty? Huh? What? Why is we... it? Why don't we have this conversation with him later? Yeah. 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 All yeah. right, yeah. this seems more complicated than I was ready for, and I'm not prepared, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go owlbears! Hoot! Growl. growl! Hoot! Growl! Hoot! Growl! He looks so psyched that that worked. <laughs> he it's just weird that we say growl pumps. rather than actually growling. Uh, and growl. flies out growl. of there. Um, you see that uh, he dips out of there, uh, and classes begin. Uh, what do you guys do during your first break? Okay, I would like to go to find the lost and found, um, and I'm going to take some of like the old clothing and the lost and found, and I'm going to throw it over these crystals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Go ahead. Are you gonna try to do it stealthily or just or just fuck it? Stealthily. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Nine. Um, uh, you you throw a jacket from the lost and found like a hoodie from the lost and found on. Golden Horde walks right around the corner, looks at you, and goes, <laughs> "What's the deal, Fig? Huh?" I don't know. What's I should be asking you that. God <laughs> damn it! Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. All right. You know, I actually took a class on managing. You know. Um, students that are, you know. You're attracted to. <laughs> All right, bye, bye! And he just runs down the hallway. And then he turns around from far away and says, you stop that, I am, you stop it! Uh, and goes, um, uh, after a couple minutes, uh, you see that a uh, uh, woman walks over to you who looks like a member of the faculty. Um, you see that she's got a sword coming up over her back. She's got like a shield on her left arm. Um, uh, kind of like seven league boots. She looks like not in the like vibe of this place. She looks like she's been coming out from like ranging for a long time. Um, she comes over and says, Fig, how's it going, pal? What's your name? Uh, you can call me Ms. Jones. Ms. Jones. Um, uh, it's good. Yeah, I've got a really productive thing I'm doing. Okay, but we can't allow that to happen, right? Because the school has kind of decided on this, so. The school has, but where do you weigh in? Well, I'm a member of the faculty, so I do what the school does. I'm not asking what the school thinks or what a member of the faculty thinks. I'm asking what you, Miss Jones, thinks. I like it, and it's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Cool. Do you have a class to be in? Probably. It's, it's day two. I know you had a, a wild day yesterday, but... Do we think maybe there is some chance that you would like attend a class? Actually, what does Porter teach? He's a barbarian. So. The Earth Genasi. Yeah, he teaches. Uh, Could I audit a barbarian class with him to see if I want to? Yeah, be a we don't want to tell you guys how to live your life. If you want a multi-class, that's fine. You can do that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna audit one of his classes today. Perhaps. Uh, cool. You head over to Porter's class. Um, uh, you, I imagine Gorgug is there, I'm, right? I'm in that class. Cool. Uh, I'm here to spy on Porter. You just walked in the middle of the class and told me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it loud. I said it really loud. Right, right, everyone settle in. Uh, we're talking today about rage. Yeah. Now, what does rage mean to you? I don't. You weren't asking specifically me, but well, I don't you've, know. You've elected to start talking. So. I know. I heard myself out from outside myself. <laughs> I don't know. That's what's everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, just give them a minute. Just give them a minute. Um, they're just ready to be. I don't know. I don't know what. i It confuses me every day. Okay. It confuses you, yeah. So, what's confusing then, right? What does that feel like? Um, like when you when you it's. When your brain just doesn't understand what's happening. Yeah, there's a, there's like, there's a wall there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what you feel like when there's a wall that's stopping you from getting where you want to go? How does that start to make you feel? It's like not good. Like it's okay, bad. Yeah, not good, but yeah, bad. When you right, so you come up against that, and there's a bad feeling, right? And you can't get where you want, right? And there's something in your way. What do you do? Well, 
my mom and dad would say, sing a song at it. Like, let's see what everyone else in okay. the class thinks. <laughs> what other people, what other people kind of think? Okay. Uh, young lady, what, what do you think about rage? What do I think about rage? What do you think about it? Um, well, I kind of think it's inevitable because, I mean, like, people really let you down left and right. Yeah. So you're always going to feel rage. It's just a matter of whether or not you use it productively or just whether or not you control it or it controls you. A small tear forms in the corner of his eye. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. That is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Please stop, get out of my way. <laughs> it's like a song my mom or my Please dad would sing. Big feels bad Please for him, stop. so she tries to play along with him a little Please bit. Please stop, don't get out of my way. Don't. Don't, don't. Is it get out of your way or don't get out of my way? It depends on if, how much they're in your way. Even in your song, you're, you, you don't want the obstacles to remove themselves. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just was trying to... She, her answer is so right. I wanted to piggyback off of it. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, we're going to take a break. Here's a little tip. Generally speaking, barbarians don't use words like piggyback. Can I just secretly give him some bardic inspiration? Uh, I yeah. feel bad for him. Go okay, for it. You've got some bardic inspiration. Uh, the, sort of the, the strum of the bass guitar kind of fills you with a little bit of purpose, and it's nice having Fig around. At least there's someone here who gets you a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's everybody else doing? Uh, I think I'd like to track down the AV Club guy. Cool. Uh, you go over to the AV Club. Um, uh, you walk into the AV room, uh, there are like crazy copper wires and these like weird crystal screens glowing. There's like a weird golden like gun camera thing. Uh, it's all like glowing and humming with different arcane energy. You see that Biz is here in his t-shirt. There's also a very lanky Aarakocra, like a bird person, so with like wings and long face. Uh, and you see that there is a uh, what looks just like an anthropomorphic turtle. Just like a turtle person. Okay. Um, turtle person is kind of <laughs> at a little thing, tinkering something at a table. And you see the bird guy is kind of like moving wires from one part to another. This weird like brass cooling engine for some kind of crystal technology. Right. You see, Biz turns around and says, "Hey, can't we? Uh, dude, hold on one second. He starts looking in a bag for something, and he takes out a business card and hands it to you. Uh, well. Boy, do I have something for you. What the heck? <laughs> Give me a break, dude. <laughs> oh, God. What's up, man? Riz quietly wonders if this is what he's like. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, I mean, the AV club seems really cool. Like, who let you, what faculty member was, like, giving you all this stuff, letting you do this? What, a what faculty member? Yeah, like, you guys got, like, who's the head of the AV club? Oh, well, I'm the head of the AV club. Yeah. We had to file for the club. Uh, we had to go and approach Principal Eggfort and Vice Principal Golden Horde. Um, and then uh, Coach Daybreak checks in on us from time to time, but just because we like record games and right. stuff like that. What, who, whose idea was the camera, the, the crystals out? Watch everyone. Oh, that was like the uh, police and Vice Principal Golden Horde were talking about that that might be a good idea. Okay, interesting. Cool, very cool. Dude, dude, you wanna join, dude? Mm, yep, <laughs> I do. I do, I think dude, this is really good dude, for me. give me that. What's up, man? Yep. Yeah, that's awesome, This man. is awesome. <sighs> cool, well, uh, orientation. Uh, why don't you, we're kind of working on some stuff right now, but orientation's gonna happen like tomorrow, because we might have some other students just like drop by, because we had like some interests. Like people have been, you see that the uh, Eric Cocker turns around and goes like, uh, it's been crazy here. <laughs> people have been coming in left and right. It's been nuts. <laughs> If I met you guys yesterday, I'd be so pumped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see, so this says, dude, man, where are my manners, dude? Uh, these are my two boys. <laughs> uh, this is Scrank Douglas, and you see the bird person says, Scrank! 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 I carry a briefcase, that's my thing. Exactly. Here's a business card, takes it, yep. and you see, he says, uh, and this is Shelford. He's kind of the bad boy. Oh, uh, you see that Shelford turns to you and goes, 
<laughs> the turtle. What's up? Hey, Shelford. Yeah, whatever. Oh, man. See, he's a, don't worry about him. He, uh, he's got a little bit of a shell emotionally. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> dude, sick, man. Yeah. Sick. Did you have, uh, do you guys have one of those crystals, like, outside? Could you see if, like, you know, somebody was hanging out outside the school or anything sure, like that? Sure, we, we have some front-facing cameras, for sure. Can I, can I see? You see, he says, uh, he looks out and he starts uh, dipping through some screens, kind of adjusting them or with sort of like a can trip or something like that. Uh, and you see the different images come up of like around the school. Basically, it's like a security cam, you know, okay. CCTV kind of thing. Yeah. I'm looking to see if uh, Johnny Spells is there creeping on anybody. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for him. Okay. 14. Um, you see that. Uh, out by the parking lot, even though it's it's uh, like sort of the in, interim between like between periods right now, um, out by the parking lot where you saw Johnny Spells yesterday, you see Penelope Everpedal by herself, standing sort of under a tree and checking a little watch. Uh, make an insight check for me. Uh, ten. Um, she looks worried. Generally, where she's like checking a watch, looking around, rubbing her legs. Uh, it looks like something's wrong. Okay. Uh, well, it was great meeting you guys, and I'll be back for all the meetings and such. Oh, awesome, dude! Dude, do you uh, do you do, like any games? Do you do like gaming at all or anything like that? Um, a little bit. I do uh, mystery games and such. Oh, yeah. awesome, very cool, dude. Mystery games, yeah, man. You gotta have like a Sherlock vibe. Dude, that could be like your nickname. I need to go right now. <laughs> but this is really fun, you guys. All right, <laughs> man, you do it, dude. I'll see ya, buddy. I bolt out. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and I'd like to try to find one of these guys or see if anybody's out. Uh, I'm gonna say that you guys, actually, that there's a free period and you guys all find each other. Okay, I just need to real quick make sure you guys know that I I think something's up with Porter. He wasn't surprised when he saw the crime scene. I Porter. was. I stayed in the cafeteria yesterday, and he didn't do anything while they were there. But, but he wasn't surprised. More pressing, there's a dude named Johnny Spells, and he's rad as hell. Uh, and he rides a motorcycle, and he's a tefling, and he's got. Sorry, what? He, he <laughs> rides. Man? He's this dude. He's rad. He rides a motorcycle. Uh, he's got these magic powers, and he. Drives around on his Does motorcycle he and he like creeps fertile? on girls. I, yeah, he definitely fucks. What? He definitely what you, what fucks. He rules. What does he rules, but I think he's a. You think he's like a guy? Okay, look. Do you think he has I something to do with the corn? I, I, he might have he had something around. to do with the corn. Look, okay, there is one of the popular girls is out there waiting in a parking lot. I think something might happen to her if somebody doesn't get there soon. Should we all go to the parking lot? Well, I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to find out about the faculty because I don't trust these people. I'm telling you, Porter. I'm going to go to the library too because I'm going to get. I'll, some I'll come ball. out to the parking right. lot with you. All right. I kind of. I don't want to go to the library, but I don't want to do the other thing, so I might just sit here. <laughs> Where is Penelope? Where is She's Penelope? She's in the parking lot. Okay. Just feels like is she like sitting on a bench or anything? She's emotion. standing there waiting for something. So. All right, I'll go outside. Right. <laughs> How do you want to handle this, the ball? I've got an idea. I'll go, well, do we want to kind of try and... We want to see what's going on. If you want to pretend to be her friend or something and see what's going on with I her, got, we can just hang I back. I can do you one better. I well, can, are you going to become see really Johnny well. Spells? No, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to pretend to be blind and stand next to her. Oh, okay. Brother. Oh, Why did you brother. Brother. oh, brother. She's You're a cool girl. She's a cool girl. Just go talk to her like a person. I don't know if I can go back into that life. From Fine. yesterday? No, I'm saying like that life of like, she's Popularity. a different type of girl. Okay, oh. she might be kidnapped right now, so I'm going to go. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Cool. I'm coming. Cool. Who's going out to the parking lot? One, two, three. And then we have, oh, and four, uh, we're going to the parking lot. Like, you two go to the library. Uh, Adine and Kristen, you guys head to the library together. Um, arriving at the library, you open the doors, and once again, you see there's the restricted section over to one corner, and then big, towering columns of books, ancient grimoires of magic, tomes of forgotten lore, and uh, you see there's a small, small human librarian woman who's walking around stacking books. You 
excuse me, um, are there any books on uh, maybe the history of the school and also current faculty members? The history of the school and current faculty members? Files or anything that we might be able to read? We're just new to the school and we want to find out about mm -hmm. it. We'd love, we'd love this school so much. Yeah, the She's, more you know. Uh, uh, you see, she says, and any other books while we're at it or no? Uh, yeah, there was a, a big um, deathly tsunami on the island of Falunel. And oh, no, I cool. just want to read about the history of that. And I'm just kind of obsessed with why bad things happen to good people. Because I never really, I got to meet God and he just refused to oh. answer that question. So I'm just going to do a little reading on my own. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, Before it was in my backpack, but I was cool about it. Oh, and if you have anything on the, uh, are there any news reports on, on what happened to the Elven Oracle whose ship collided? Newspaper, periodicals. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a school library, but if you want you to You don't have a newspaper at the school library? Well, we have a school newspaper, but it wouldn't have any information about hmm. shipwrecks. You're yeah, well, welcome to, I can write a pass to the city hall and requisition the microfiche. Uh, maybe later. Maybe Just later. the other books for now. Um, she goes off to look for some books. You see that the librarian returns with a couple books. She says, uh, these were the books I was able to find. Uh, this has some about the founding of the school. Um, the Aeons of Solace, which is a tome uh, referencing the history of the nation of Solace. Uh, the, I couldn't find anything about the f full faculty, but the only book I could find that sort of fit that was an autobiography of Arthur Egfort. Uh, Abracadabra, look at me now, my life in magic. And you see that there's a book with like a glossy Arthur Egfort on the cover that looks like a kind of like tell-all like memoir. Um, uh, this is from the restricted section, but not because it has dark magic, it's just pretty spicy. <laughs> Uh, you see, she uh, hands it to you and she says, and uh, this is a, a, a people's history of Falunel. Um, it's a, uh, basically a history of the elven continent uh, written from the perspective of dispossessed peoples and the marginalized, so it's sort of a, uh, a contrasting point of view to some of the more documented histories. Uh, it's a lot of information about kind of grain and economy. Hmm. It's pretty dense. A lot of people hit that sort of first year of college. Uh, this will help in my search for deep answers. Yes, it should. If you if you really crack in there, you'll find some. You'll find it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, thank you. And she goes back to stocking books. Um, we'll dip out to the parking lot. I, I think maybe I should hide in one of your backpacks because I'm the ball, and I don't yeah. think this cool girl's gonna want to. Yeah, talk hide about in my backpack. I'm gonna go over to her with my flask. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast friends. Can I, Can I cast backpack? friends on the liquor in my flask? Um, uh, so that anyone who drinks from it will have friends cast on them. Um, that's for sure not how the spell is used, but I'm gonna allow it because it's cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay kind of by the edge of the parking lot because I I can see very I have good perception. Cool. You guys approach Penelope. Um, uh, go the ahead and make a stealth check. Oh, you can, you can get in my backpack. Get in my backpack. The ball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16. Fabian, don't cool. drink from this. I'm, 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 um, don't drink. I'm not going to drink from that. Uh, you walk up to her. She looks over at you. Cut in class. You see, she says, sorry? Are you cutting class? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, we um, are as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being rude. You want some? Make a persuasion check if you'd be so kind. <sighs> Gladly. That's going to be a 20. Not Nat. Not Nat. Um, you see, she goes, you brought alcohol to school? Yeah. Uh, Are you oh. worried it's going to make you seem cooler and make it more likely that you become prom queen? Oh, you see, she looks yeah. at you and says, um, I'm sorry, you're a little freak, and I love it. <laughs> Can I get some of that? Yeah, absolutely. She takes a hit of it, she says, oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, it's peppermint schnapps. <sighs> Minty, I like that. Yeah. Um, you see that she hands it back to you. Uh, she says, um, well, what's up? Are you guys like hanging out in the parking lot too, trying to cut a class? It's like, if yeah. A4's not here, like, what's even the deal? Yeah. We're what? actually, uh, we're actually here waiting for somebody. Wait a minute. You're that kid who, like, 
sliced it up on the field yesterday, right? Uh, guilty as charged. Can I just they? say, like, I think it's bullshit that you're not on the team. That's uh, crazy. You are too sweet. Your dad is Bill Seacaster, right? <laughs> Again, guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, well, that's rad. I mean, I'm sure you guys are I'm like just biting him from inside his back. <laughs> you see, it's like he. Uh, you see, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so she goes like, she goes like, um, and this is like a freaky question because I'm like so much older than you guys, so you probably have like your own parties and stuff. But like, I have like a birthday coming up. If we were ever to have like a party and like we couldn't have it at my place for some reason, do you think your dad's place would be like an option? <laughs> Guilty and shocked. Oh my god, that doesn't <laughs> apply there. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it, it, it doesn't grammatically uh, fit uh, to what I said. No, I, it was, I mean, I was just, I was just, uh, I was saying, of course. When yeah. is your birthday? Yeah, when is it? My birthday? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's May fifteenth. Oh, so you don't have a birthday party coming up right now? That's like at the end of the. Year. Okay, yeah. I thought you were like, saying you later. had like a birthday. I, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. Of course, like I, my parents are always away and like traveling, so like. We could totally hook something up. Like it, it was sure, good, of course. Oh, that's awesome! I'd yeah. love that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Um, what are you doing out here? I'll make an insight check, both of you. Can I make one too? You get one at disadvantage because you're in a backpack. <laughs> okay. Can I make a perception check? <laughs> can I both my yes, you can. <laughs> Eight. I only got five. Oh. Nat one. Nat one. <laughs> I got a sixteen. Far. What? Oh, you're far away. So you. <laughs> You're across the parking lot. She looks, you cannot hear what they're saying, but you see a facial expression that looks like deep hurt and worry. Um, I should have gone over there. <laughs> you see that she says, um, so, I don't know, I'm waiting. My friend Sam Nightingale is being really weird, and she's hanging around with this guy, Johnny Spells. Mm. Oh, is he the tiefling who rides the motorcycle? Yeah. Is he like old enough to be one of our dads? The other kid said a dad thing the other day. Do you guys all have like dad stuff or what's no. the deal? No, Absolutely I mean my father's not. Bill C. Have to. Sure, but like you might still have dad stuff. I mean, if we're speaking candidly, who doesn't have dad stuff? <laughs> I don't have dad stuff. What is he doing right? I mean, he just like raised me and just like. Was very loving and attentive. I don't know, he's like a solid parent. All right, I stand corrected. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> so is Sam, is Sam, Sam's yeah, Sam coming, and I or girl. is she? You see, it says, um, it's just weird, because like, she didn't show up to school today. Um, and she like always does, so I'm not super sure, like. So you're just kind of like playing the friend part, being like, are you coming? Well, I like here. shot a little message to her crystal and it was like, I didn't get a response back and it's been like 10 minutes. So it's like, what's going on? Like it takes two seconds to send a text message. Totally. Weird. Where does she live? Yeah, where does she live? <laughs> also, uh, do you know where Johnny lives? Johnny doesn't live anywhere. He hangs out at the fucking gas station by the highway. Oh, like all like often? Like if we like went there in the evening, would he be there? Or? Sam and he have been like, sort of going steady for like basically the whole summer. Mm -hmm. And he for real is like, I've never even seen him lie down. Like I don't know if he has a home or if he even sleeps or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, he like obviously like is around town a lot. He hangs out with like a group of dudes that are all like sketchy. Do you know what I mean? Like, Of course, yeah, yeah totally. Uh, they sound cool. But like, I know that they're like, he has like a souped up car and like, it's like a super fast car and he has like his motorcycle and stuff. And there's like a garage over by the highway. Um, but like, it's a really seedy part of town. Like only fucking losers live over there. Sorry, I, I'm just, I'm wondering, like, are you saying that you're, like, worried, like, do you trust Johnny, or what, what are you worried about with Sam? Make another persuasion check with advantage this time. Okay. Can I make a perception check? Well, it's gonna be uh, 24. 13 or, on my It's gonna be 24. 24. You see, she looks at you and says, do you remember a girl named Penny Luckstone? Riz throws up in your backpack. Uh, <laughs> um, I see the vomit says, dripping from your backpack. Did your backpack just make a fucking? It stinks. Dude, did in your here. Tupperware uh, spill? Yeah, of course. My Tupperware spilled. What kind you know, of gross fucking lunch does your dad pack you that you fucking? It's he's generally eating. It's just a lot of citrus and raw meat. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go clean this out. But 
yo, hey, hit me up if you ever need that party, all right? All right, uh, I, I actually, uh, do you mind if I leave my backpack here? I'm gonna go grab. The that, I would rather you stay and the backpack go. Okay, you know what, actually, uh, I just <laughs> chuck my backpack. <laughs> I, 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 I like throw it. <laughs> I aim for him. Yeah. Yeah. Athletic <laughs> track and credit. And I try and okay. throw it. You <laughs> hurl it. And I and I just rolled it and I got a uh, I got a ten. You got a ten. <laughs> you you make an athletics check. You have to beat a fifteen to get it to where. Great. Uh, uh, oh nope nine. <laughs> uh, so you go leap for it, Gorga. Um, um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that you Riz take. Uh, six points of damage oh, as you are hurled skyward and slam into a car. Oh, glass shatters. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. I'll, I'll just grab the backpack and run. <laughs> she <laughs> helped me with the princess. He looks over and says, I think that freak loser just stole your backpack out of that car you hit. Oh, what a fucking loser. Oh, <laughs> Get that back, you fucking freak. No, What's you your deal? Make... You're a fucking creep. This kid's no, a fucking creep. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I'll take care of it. I'll, and then I pretend to throw fire at him, but it's just thaumaturgy. Am I allowed to do yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. So I'm like, I'll take care of it. But it's not, it doesn't actually, it's not fire. You see, she goes, Jesus Christ, you are a fucking insane bitch. <laughs> and I fucking love it. <laughs> yes, yes. I, yes. I just I run you. around the corner. Uh, I'm crying. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, and okay? there's no clothing left yeah, in the have... lost and found <laughs> for you to change into. Can I have like some of your shirt? I'm small. No. You can have like a crop top. I just started biting his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I have to make a crop top so I can wear like a toga. <laughs> um, Fabian and Fig. Yeah. Uh, you see that Penelope says. Pointless. She's probably not going to show up. Like sometimes she gets a ride here with Johnny, um, but like it's just so weird. The relationship is so fucking weird, honestly. Um, yeah, especially because since he's like old enough to be someone's dad. I don't think he's old enough to be someone's. I mean, he could be someone's dad. Okay. But he's like honestly like very weird about that stuff. Like Sam honestly gets pissed at him because they like haven't like done it. What? He's like extremely weird about it. Everything I've heard about this guy is that he fucks. <laughs> no, like straight up, he like the I thing did that, hear like, that he fucks. We both heard he fucks. <laughs> yeah. No, I know that everyone hears that he fucks, but I'm telling you, like, it's like yeah, he mm -hmm. doesn't. That's the thing. Uh -huh. That's so weird. Yes, of course. It's like honestly, get it. But you guys, are, you guys are like young. You guys are like 15. Oh right? no, I'm 16. I just, oh I'm, cool. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm 17, I'm, but I'm turning 18 oh, and... Totally. Right. Of course, party at my house. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm 15, but I started partying like pretty early, so yeah, I like... I fucking believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh you my know, God. Actually, potentially, I'm going to go uh, get my bag, uh, but it was so good to meet you, and like, yeah. to you totally Jeez. have my vote for prom queen. Let's I totally party. Yeah, let's, let's party. Totally party. I let's heard party. a lot of people are trying to <laughs> get... <laughs> Did you fucking cast a friend spell on me? No. Yes, you fucking did. Are That's, you kidding me? I used up all my spells like Yeah, it was on one of that freak kid. Friends is a fucking can trip. Do you not go to school I don't here? have friends. Like, I don't have that spell. Yeah, you're not gonna have friends when I'm done with you. And she turns around and but, walks but that'll be. <laughs> uh, Can I, can choose I cast friends on her again? <laughs> uh, you can go for it if you like. If you look at friends. <laughs> I know, I know. It lets people know that you've cast it at the end of it. Uh, it wasn't me, it was that freak. You see, she turns around, make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. I got a 10. A 10? She turns around and says, the creep did it? Yeah, maybe. Penelope, I'm I just know saying he that was creep. Fine. That's like so. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh God, uh, 15. That's totally his game. Honestly, I'm so sorry I freaked out. I'm just like in this it's place totally where like my cool. best friend is no, like with this fucking I guy who hangs out of the gas station. Of course. I'm gonna make sure that that kid dies. Okay. Dies? What? No, but like socially. No, of course. Like yeah, socially. Of course. Oh my god. It's so hard in adventure school because you want to like use hyperbole, but no, fucking course. people are always yeah. like. I make a perception check from around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I get what? A 14. 14. Yeah, you hear that. 
<laughs> uh, we yeah. We're gonna go. Like, will you totally hit us up if there's like yeah, any? Yeah, just let us like, know if there's a party. Yeah, we're honestly like worried about Sam as well. So if you could just like, let us know how if she's okay and like if you hear anything, that'd be so honestly, dope. girl. I'm just gonna say it. The thing I'm most interested in is this Johnny Spells guy and how he doesn't fuck. Like, so honestly, I'm like, what's going on spread there? Spread the word. It's so, yeah. it's so crazy. crazy. So I definitely he's got, just like, like the jacket and everything, and it's like fucking. If there's a party, just invite me so I can be like, what's up with you? You don't fuck. Yeah. 100%. Anyway, totally. See you later, later, Penelope. Bye. All right, Jay, the same thing. Later. Bye. Bye, kiddos. Hey, Riz, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I am that? so sorry. Why'd you I had throw to... up in my goddamn backpack? What did you say about Penny no, Lester? Dude, what did you say about Penny Lester? fucking backpack. That's my anymore. babysitter. My babysitter's missing. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. He hangs out at the Akron, uh, at the Archon gas, uh, gas station and garage. He has a car there or something like that. We don't know anything about Penny because you threw up in the bag and we had to do damage control. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Speaking of damage control, Gorga, we kind a shirt, totally. a shirt's cab. Uh, and then you guys... and Kristen walk out with your books at this moment. Oh dear. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, f- uh, uh, good in some ways. Ew, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Can I use? Can you can use I mend? Can I cast mend on their clothes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. We are already oh. not very popular, and I just joined the AV club. You, <laughs> you joined the AV club for all club? the and purposes. Had to. We socially murdered you. We socially what? murdered you, and I'm really sorry. Why? But it was good because now so we're it. in with her. So worth but it. that's not good for me. I mean, you weren't like you weren't gonna fucking climb very high in the yeah, first let's place. Be so, honest. Let's, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Gorgug and I will play the nerds if it means we can solve the mystery. Okay, play the nerds. Sure. Okay, uh, but we, we might have to act like we're unpopular, but can I join the AV club? I guess. Yeah. Sure. We oh, did you guys are looking for a club, I actually run the oh, oh, Fellowship oh, of uh, oh, Helioic athletes. I found some books. I drink my own flask and I'm like, oh shit, why did I do that? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what kind of books? What books did you find? Uh, there's a book about the history of the school and then there's uh, Professor Aigfort's autobiography, which apparently is a little spicy. Ooh. I yeah, don't know what that means. Section. I bet he... Um, Fuck. I bet he fucks. Yeah, he fucks. Speaking fucks. of people who fuck, Johnny Spells doesn't fuck. Yeah, that was actually Johnny crazy. Johnny Spells doesn't fuck? Johnny Spells does not yeah. fuck, according, supposedly. That's, all, that's what wanna, you found out? This maybe guy, this guy doesn't for fuck? Marriage. Well, if these people are disappearing, and if he has something to do with it, maybe... Where is I'm he? I'm saying, a man who... Maybe I, he thinks that if he waits, then that night... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I, I we, then you guys waited meet? so long. Kristen, you your pants are be punching be up amazing. in the weirdest Please way. Please stop, Kristen. <laughs> all right? Guys, meet at Crom's Donner after school. Okay. 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 Does anybody want to just like figure out how to go over there together or? Yeah, I could use I'll a come ride. with you. Yeah, I oh, wait, I can't be seen with you around. Yeah, we also. Oh, wait, wait, can we talk to one Crumbs. person before we leave? Yeah, who? Uh, there's this uh, dwarf. Uh, who went on a little spy mission for me yesterday, much like you guys just did. I'm sort of a pattern of behavior You're for me. You're not the boss of this group. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. a group. You don't, don't, don't we want to know who, where these yeah, two people are? You can't slip into a de facto leader role, all right? Yeah, I'm not so saying, weird. Yeah, you seem to be sli- you, I was outvoted last time, and what, I was right. Yeah, how about you go talk to your dwarf girl, and we'll go do right. whatever the fuck we I want. Think we were, I think talking to Goldenrod worked was out. Was great. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, you want to go talk... All right. All right. I just want to find out what happened. By yourself, or um, do you want to bring said, the new AV club member? I said anybody can come. Okay. I'll go. Why don't we just see if we can find her? Cool. You go take a look for her. Um, uh, you uh, go ahead and make an investigate check. Sure. Uh, bad. Nine. Uh, it's okay because it's the easiest thing in the world to find. It's a DC five check. Great. You see, this dwarven girl is laid up uh, in the nurse's office. Oh. Um, she's on a bed. Uh, she's got her like fists balled up and is drooling. One of her eyes is kind of like, uh, and you see that the school nurse is like tending to her, and that her father, this sort of like um, uh, out of work, kind of shabby looking dwarf, kind of like he's got like almost like a Carhartt jacket and like big boots, is sitting next to her. Um, the nurse comes over. Uh, you bring this school nurse. Uh, her name is Fatima. Um, so she walks over and says, "Hey, are you guys all sick? Anything from yesterday?" We we're just checking on our friend. Is she okay? What happened to her? You know, ostentation. Yes. Uh, you see that uh, take it, it takes you in. Um, you see that ostentation again is covered in jewels, and you see her dad is again this like very working class looking dwarf. You see he's holding her hand. He's like, "Anything from our baby? Anything?" I'll give you anything, sweetheart, or anything for you. Um, you see, he looks up at you guys and goes, 
Riz? Riz? Want to use Riz? The ball, yeah. <laughs> My name's Ball. Uh, he's, what, what's, what's up with Riz? Uh, he reaches into her hand, takes out a crumpled piece of paper, and first of all, it's written in Dwarven. Okay. I do not speak Dwarven. But. I have Comprehend Languages. Sweet. Uh, and you can ritual cast that, so that's no sweat. Um, in that case, I'm going to hand this to Siobhan, who's the only one who can read it. Sweet. Um, there you go. You see, he says, she just, she she got knocked out. She just, uh, last night, she, she, uh... At school or after school? No, she came home, made a cup of tea, and then, uh, you know, went to her room, and I came in, and she'd fallen down. She was whispering and, and acting crazy. It was like she had hit her head on her desk. She'd fallen, but she wrote out a note real quick, and she said, Riz, a couple times. Did somebody cast a spell on her? You see, um, he says, no, you see, the nurse says, um, uh, some form of poison, we think, which is unusual. Very powerful poison to affect a dwarf at all. Huh. Uh, this says... We should go. Uh, <coughs> we should go. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go somewhere else. Let's go get flowers for ostentation. That's fine. Yes. That's let's a go great go idea. Flowers for our friend ostentation. I have a flower. Oh, let's go uh, get more of them, though. Yeah. yeah we don't need Can like, I just yeah. give her this flower? Yeah, right that's now? fine. Yeah, I cast sure. glow on the flower. And see, the, the father says, oh, she'll, she'll love that. Thanks, kid. I appreciate that. Hey, there you go. Um, you see, he uh, tucks the flower in the little corner of one of her necklaces, and he pats her head, uh, and she looks up going, uh, is she gonna be okay? I asked the nurse. Sweetie, you want to ask me that right in front of her dad? I didn't. Why don't you guys go get some flowers, huh? All right. Take a yeah, little high okay. cake. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so, I mean, I think our spelling is pretty bad. Or maybe it's just my, my dwarven isn't good enough. But uh, it says Penny, but spelled P-E-N-Y. And then Johnny, I think, but J-H-N-Y. And then crystal, but crystal spelt. Stop! I don't care about the spelling. What does it say? Penny Johnny Crystal Palimpsis. Do you know what a palimpsis is? I know a palimpsest is a grave without a body in it. How is it spelled? But it's not spelt like this. P A L Y M P S I S. P A L M Y. It couldn't be Penelope, could it? I don't think so. What it says palimpsis, crystal, penny, Johnny, crystal, palimpsis. Was or was crystal the name of the other? No, no, no. I think crystal crystals are crystals are, are being installed. Right. It also might be a name. Yeah. It looks like a name. But all of the other spelling is so bad that I don't know. Just gonna say, if you look at the first, if Penny and Johnny, so Can we see words that are missing us? are N and O. Yeah, you guys are being watched by Crystal yes. right now. So oh, what let's is, get out of the school. Yeah, <laughs> Can yeah. we go to the library and look what look up what a palimpsis is? Or let's uh, let's I mean we can let's split I'll it off. go back I to mean, the library yeah. with you and then we'll meet you guys. You guys head back to the library. Uh, go ahead and make an Arcana check for me. Both of us or just her? Uh, you can make an Arcana check as well if you'd like. Uh, 24. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, you race through the library, Adine. <laughs> you mage hand a book off a shelf <laughs> into your hand, open it up, uh, and you find the definition of a palimpsest, which has a couple of different definitions. Um, uh, first of all, it is spelled incorrectly. Um, looking at the script of the hand here in the library, like under better light and better conditions, uh, you see that it is, uh, uh, not only is the spelling wrong, the letters are shoddily written, right? Mm -hmm. So it's everything looks bad about this, right? Oh, okay. um, uh, a palimpsest, in addition to being a grave without a body, is also a, a sheet from old books prior to printing presses uh, that has been scrubbed clean to re-record over. Um, so a palimpsest is, can be a thing of like, here's a thing, uh, here's a page full of script or illumination. We shear the page, like old sheepskin pages, for example, sheared clean uh, when we want to rewrite a book or make changes or amendments or do other such things. So both in the definition of a grave and in this first definition of palimpsest, it is a thing that was full that has been wiped and made empty. 
Can I we cast thought... identify on this piece of paper to see if anything Cool. Any you, other things uh, pop up on it? It gets identified. No reaction from the paper. It looks like just a scrawled piece of, of parchment. Okay. okay. So. And is crystal spelled like the phone? It's spelled C R I S T A L. Do we know whether or not Technically, it's that's... not spelled C R I S T A L because it's t- written out in Dwarven Futhark. So it's it's oh, okay. misspelled it's in misspelled the Dwarven runes. In Dwarven. Okay. Cool. But I don't know whether that's just because a she's name. an idiot. And Crystal's not a name, is it that we would know from like the missing people? Not a, not I mean, a name. Could ask Penelope. Uh, yeah. Well, we know it says Johnny, so we, maybe we should still follow that. Just maybe we yeah, don't know the answer right now. Should we meet right at the? Um, should we run I'm and just, meet them at the thing and talk? I'm just gonna point out. Yeah, yeah. I think that we should we should leave school and yeah. talk about this. All right, let's okay. go. Before I leave school, can I go talk to the sorcery teacher? Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you find Jace on their way out of the school. Great. Hey, Jace. Yeah. Hi. I'm, hey, what's up? I'm Fabian. Uh, I'm awesome. A, I'm one of the new students. Awesome. Hey, uh, can I? Can we speak candidly for a second? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm one of the uh, the students who was impacted by yesterday's events. Yeah. Uh, and it was just really hard for me. Sure. Uh, sure. And you know, I just there's part of me that just really wants to see justice served. So I was wondering if, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, if you ever hear anything about what's going on with regard to that investigation, I just would love to kind of, I don't know, I know that you're not supposed to tell students everything, but... Make a persuasion check for me. Uh, 15. See, it looks at you and says, what you're asking for is uh, very out of order, and guess what? Out of order is what we look for at this school, Okay. <laughs> Jace, I just if knew. you were interested in the proper channels, you wouldn't be at Egg Fort, man. And the fact Thank that you, you get it this early is huge. Thank you, uh, and I really appreciate. It. I mean, truly, just from like the bottom, like from like a very real place, it just means a lot to me. That yeah, I don't know, it was just very hard. And yesterday was very hard. Yeah. And this you, today, you're making it much easier. I bet. Hey, I bet. And you know what? You know, this world is magic. Life is magic. And uh-huh. I'll be real. Great. I see magic potential in you. Hey, Jace. Ever- Jace. Talk. Are we so done? We're, yeah, we're, I just, okay, we're yeah. done here? Yeah. Cool, man. Later, dude. Take it easy. Hmm. Um, you head out of there. Um, you guys... I'm going to pop my uh, head in and wave goodbye to the uh, to Porter, the barbarian that I just audited the class Cool. You leave, uh, he grabs you uh, as you're leaving and says, uh, Fig, uh, I just want to say, um, you know, I know you got the guitar. Yeah. Um, come by class anytime. You know, because, I mean, obviously, nice, yeah. I'm sure you want you know, check out the bard classes. Of course, you should I check know, it out. I know, I really should get to that. Have you not done it yet? No. You might not be a bard. Maybe you're a barbarian. I definitely, you know, everything you were saying, I was really relating to. And so I definitely think I will be stopping in again. You have a lot of potential. And I, I don't say that lightly. Thank you. I'm sorry I sang earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it just... Came out. You were there too. I've been quietly standing here for a minute. He Gorgos like also has total potential. <clears throat> do you, is this a friend of yours from? Bar? I was in your. Do you? I was. He was in the class. You, this, you sang. That's right. I'm actually yeah. in your class. Actually yeah. in, the, in the class, right? Mm-hmm. Well, keep at it. And you know, uh, you got uh... potential. Were you gonna say I have potential? <laughs> 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 was the rest of the come center? by sometime, Gorgug. Mm-hmm. Hey. Keep at it, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time. And you see that he walks away. Um, <laughs> it's so heartbreaking. I think I think he just That's is. I think day. he just is. He's like, trying to think of the word. The potential. word he forgot the word potential. I think. Um, yeah. I want to write a little note to these guys, or find a corner that it, is it pretty safe to assume that there's kind of crystals everywhere that we're kind of yeah, being watching no matter what. I'd like to write these guys a little note. Um, I. I write five full notes, um, <laughs> very verbose. Uh, basically, just asking: Should we consider going into the AV club and trying to erase the footage of us talking about this stuff? Do we have a sense of if it's like, it's like CCTV, like it's not recording every conversation people have? It's just people just. Did I get yeah. any sense of that while I was in there? You did not. You don't know how it works. I don't think and not only do you not know how it works, you don't know if you would know how to even erase it. You could like smash the machines around. I mean, uh, worst case, no, we could pay all of them, but uh, I mean, I don't think there's uh, any point. Just I go. think paying them would be admitting. You guys all. head I mean, off I mean. to the diner. Cool. Um, 
Fabian, you order a car for the gang. You guys pile in, travel down past the highway to Crom's Diner, a glowing neon and formica temple to comfort food, 24 hour a day service. You guys walk into the front door past the little gumball machine with those little sweet candies all throughout, the little taking, you know, copper pieces instead of quarters. And you guys walk up to a booth, red line, you guys gather all around and you can look out the window to see the tieflings gathered around their motorcycles in front of the garage. Yandi, the halfling waitress, a little bit older in years, moves from table to table, offering up crawlers and knishes and dwarven stew of some variety. You guys take a seat and order a bunch of milkshakes, which you are all happily enjoying as you survey Johnny Spells and his gang. Okay. I've actually never had a milkshake before and I'm not taught telling any of them, but this is like a major thing for me. We don't have sugar in my house. <laughs> Okay, so the ball, any thoughts? I mean, should we check out the garage? I'm saying I feel like I'm a tiefling, they're a tieflings. Agreed. I can kind of casually, I can distract them and you can go sneak in. Um, you guys hear from out there, you hear a guy say, <laughs> hey, that's enough, Tony, come on, lay off of him. And you see Johnny goes, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, knuckleheads, break's over. Let's get back to work. They walk into the garage, open a door, um, and you guys see that deeper in the garage, um, you see that there is a full dance studio with a wall, a mirrored wall, and like a bar up against it. And you see the teethlings start taking their jackets off and stretching, uh, and then one of them closes the door behind them. Okay, I so what? I need to know more now. All right. Okay, I am fascinated. I mean, yes. Um, I mean, there's there's reasons outside of. Uh, I the, thought it was a chop shop. Yeah, but uh, well, I don't know. I, I think I do agree, Fig, that you will blend in with these people uh, better than oh, any okay. of the rest of us. Okay. <laughs> Choose your words okay. carefully. There's, there's, there's nothing. Like I that, actually right? see. I find that I can fit in with anyone. Who's a good dancer? I mean, uh, I play music. I'm an acro I'm very flexible. I do a dance with a scarf that represents how the world can taint you. I'm speechless after what you As just I, said. Yeah. You haven't even seen it yet. Wait well, a here's second. the thing: okay. is, <laughs> Christian, Christian, okay. Christian. Okay, I actually, you know what? I want to use thaumaturgy. Is the door locked or unlocked? It's too far. This is all the way across the oh, street. Okay. So okay. they're now inside. You can't see them anymore. Yeah, they're yeah. inside. I think can we, we should just to, go spy. Can we talk to the people that work here? That's sure, you can talk to Yanni. Yeah, yeah, that's a good no idea. One, we can stop dancing. Please stop dancing. What? Yeah. Wait, it only has oh God, two color splotches on it from <laughs> greed and sloth. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Can yes, you tell us, uh, please, about the garage that's across the way? Oh, the garage, yeah. Well, those boys hang out over there. Those boys? What do they do there? They're, um, they're a little rough and tumble, you know? See, maybe we were mistaken, but we thought that perhaps we saw them dancing in there? That's right. You know, they uh, when they rumble, they do a whole dance before. When, when they, they rumble, rumble, when they fight? Yeah, they do a little fight. They come out, I seen them, a bunch of sort of half-orc bruises came by one time, and they said, hey, you know, we, this is our turf. And they just started going, pa, cha -cha, pa -cha, cha -cha. and they started doing this incredible dance. They are, they are the Jets. What? The, the Jets. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't catch that reference. So they, they danced and, and then they They're beat them up? They're a dangerous gang. They do a dance. I heard it, they, that, that's, and that they was the fighting. Like there was no fighting after they were bar, any... They're bards. They're... Was that? No, they, they do bars? a dangerous dance. It's this, scary because it it's magic? so muscular and athletic. Is the dance it's so magic? Scary. What's that? Do they kick it with their magic. dance It is magic. I was transported. Was it actual magic? Because surely, Fig, demonstrate a magic musical Okay, I use thaumaturgy and I play my guitar and I'm and I make the a tremor happen in the And I instantly diner. pull out my scarf. Stop. Okay. Oh, so, was, was it like was it like this or like this? Uh, you see that the uh, uh, adine, the milkshake you're drinking from, ow, gets hit by that tasty cord. There's a little thing of like liquor, a little like airplane liquor bottle in the top of it now. Um, you see, she goes, wow, that's pure rock and roll. Thank you. Yeah, it's like that. You're welcome. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay, so they have some kind of thing tonight. 
They have a fight tonight. This is that's what this means. Oh, okay. good. Point. I so want to see this we so stay, bad. Yeah. If we stay, first off, we should try and spy Why? on what them. What do you mean they have a fight tonight? Oh, um, no, they rehearse all the time. Can I get another curler? You think you could just ex? <laughs> You think you want another? Co <laughs> can we just get around the crawlers? Yeah, can we get around the crawlers for the whole game? Yeah, no, we just only want crawlers. Yeah, I was yeah, just gonna say, you think you can just jump into a dance extemporaneously? No, you have to rehearse a lot. Right, yeah. Sorry. You do a threatening gang dance. You gotta hmm. put the work in. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that crawler. <laughs> Yeah. There's no need what to be mean? rude, but please go get our crawler. Oh, she just walks crawler. She walks away. And fresh ones. I don't think. Please don't come I don't think it's actually rock and roll to be rude to wait stuff. I'm not being rude. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't trying to be rock and roll. I was trying to. She was eavesdropping. Also, let's be honest. Too. They're wait stuff. <laughs> well, well, come on now. Uh, okay. Well, well, I don't know. No. They're wait stuff. Uh, everyone we're making a We're not on the same page here. Fuck, we're being quashed. I got a. Uh, I got a twenty-one. Now I got a net twenty, baby. Um, 20. Which turns uh, into a 22. Uh, you hear a voice coming from the garage that whispers to you through your vibrating guitar that you just played, and the strings whisper to you, save me. Uh, guys, we gotta go. Go where? We what? gotta go to the garage. Why? Someone what? needs to be saved. Uh, what? Yes, we need to go to the garage. A whisper what? just came through my guitar. I don't know if you guys heard, but it said, save me. Was it like I a heard, halfling voice yeah. in the guitar whisper? Do I know? Do I have any kind of idea? No idea, boy said save me. <laughs> okay. Not no. sure. Just a general guitar whisper? Just okay. a general right, fine. Guitar then whisper. how are we going to go about this? Right, that's the real question, right? Because all the six of us running up on this garage, I mean, these boys Wait, look scary. Wait, you guys, <laughs> listen to me. Can I do inspiring speech? Uh, absolutely. Go ahead and take it away. All right. We're probably gonna have to go in there and encounter what we already did, which is corn cuties. Corn <laughs> cuties. I <laughs> worship the corn, and yesterday I had to see its perverted, upside down. It's gonna get inspiring. Yeah, I know. Uh, and she's standing on the table. It's so. really hard, and it was very confronting. Uh, yeah, sure. My whole thing is praising Helio. Uh, who is a corn? Yeah, sure. Yesterday, maybe because my Bible went into the corn, the corn went evil and at us. Okay, I have a lot of questions, not a lot of answers, but I think that if we go in there, we can save that person. Maybe not through Helio, but through some sort of good in this world that I worship. I'm getting more into a like, one love place in my life. Um, like maybe it's not just Helio, maybe there's like a lot of gods, or maybe there's just like the glint of good in everyone's eye, and we all can decide to follow that or not. Um, I have a lot of reading to do, but anyway, um, something it's has been. Get inspired. Yeah, something. Don't worry, I'm ready to clap at any moment. Something has been like giving me a lot of power. You guys all witnessed it, right? You made jokes that you were going to be yes, religious we, yeah, soon. We all, yeah, yeah, we did. I would just, I just know that I have been praying for you each night, uh, each of you individually. So one night. One night. Uh, it's been one yeah, night since I. Met it's uh, yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, before I even met you. I prayed for the friends and the company that I would keep when I entered this school. That's and uh, I want the best for you, and I'll always heal you. Uh, <laughs> you will. Uh, I will. And um, yeah, so uh, if you would just take my hand uh, and let's close this out. Uh, let's pray. Uh, dear, really big God, maybe not Helio anymore, because you were kind of. You kind of looked like you've been, you've date raped. Um, <coughs> anyway, uh, something better than who I met as a god. Um, please be with us as we go in there. Uh, and thank you for this day. And thank you for this food. Thank you for your Amen. gifts. Uh, oh, okay. You all gained five temporary hit points. Yes. Yay. Now, was it the prayer or was it the crawlers? <laughs> Oh. Uh, what do you guys do? Oh, can I? Can I yeah. recover any of the hit points yes, from you my? Can. Oh, That's a short rest. I guess that, I'll do it. If he does that, I might do. How much do you? Song need? of rest is plus yeah. one to six, and that's what you can use that as many times as you want. I can. Um, I think so, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Woo! I get a D8 hit dice back, and I'm I've lost six hit points. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think we're gonna take another short rest. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, do, do it. it. Okay. 
Okay, five. so I got five, and then what did you give me? You get a D6. Roll okay, another D6. So <laughs> I'm at full, and then great. Okay. All right, everyone full? Full yeah. plus, and then five. plus five. five. Great. And we have a plus five temporary. Dang, you bitch. guys, uh, I'm you a guys, healthy tiefling. Uh, so, you guys exit the diner. Uh, you head over. Is any particular person in the lead? Because you still have your detect magic, so you can I see. I think we, I'm going to be in the lead I, just because I'm a tiefling and I can always play dumb and just pretend like I want to. If you, we get. Do we want to maybe have you try to talk to them yeah, while they're distracted? I'll try to sneak should, in. I think me and Riz can sneak in the yeah, back. I think we should maybe try to spy first. I don't want to split up that much. Yeah, I don't think we should split up entirely, but I think we should see if there's any windows, try and spy in. If that goes bad, I'll throw myself, and then if there aren't any windows, then I can knock on the door and be like, I'm a tiefling, and I just want to get to know other tieflings. Okay, want me to, maybe I'll do a quick round around the back of the garage and come back to these guys. Cool. Make a stealth and an investigation. Okay. And I will go with him. I yeah. think that okay. makes sense. Cool. Stealth is 24. Ooh, oh, my yeah. stealth was 7. Okay, no worries. My investigation oh, is God. 12. My 12. investigation was 9. Uh, you stumble and fall out on your way, but these guys are dancing up a storm in the other room. They do not notice. You can hear them being like, Bruno, Bruno, when I'm here, you gotta be here. You understand me? I'm at, I'm at this, all right? Bomb, 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 bomb. Kick and flip and turn. You understand me? What's the Hey, don't fucking talk to me that way. I'm trying, all right? You're more limber than I am. Uh, you see that, uh, peeking through a window, you see something that you wouldn't have noticed, but it is glowing with arcane power as you gaze at it. There is a crystal that looks like it has been scarred up or scraped somehow, some way, as if by magic. There's like little fractures all throughout it. Uh, you cannot see this. You see a figure of a young girl made of arcane energy, putting her hands up against the outside of the crystal from the inside of it. Uh, Next to that, with your investigation check, you notice a small crate that is open with some tea leaves in it. You also see a set of keys on the dash where that, of that little workbench. Tea leaves and keys. Okay, we will go, let's go back and uh, talk to these guys. So we go back to them. So we saw what we saw. Okay. Uh, that girl was sick, that girl was poisoned. Right. With yeah. tea leaves. But you tea stole leaves. a you tea stole from the, the vice president. From the vice president. And the, the vice president. president. <laughs> from the principal. They were trying to. The principal, the principal, the principal was saying terrible. this tasted terrible. They're trying to. They were trying to. So he him. is good. If they were if trying to. If someone's against him, he is good. Yeah, they were trying to poison Eggfort. What is Eggfort bad? No. These guys are good. Egg force. These yeah. guys have a girl trapped in a crystal. Yeah, I don't oh, think yeah, that they're good. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Maybe yeah. that's the crystal that she was talking I, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was scraped yeah. like it was... Uh, right. But, but they must have also been responsible because the, the other word, palimpsis, yeah. is a... Scraping. Is a um, scraping clean, but how did those girls no, no, no. know about it? I know it's what you're saying. Was paper. it that piece of paper that yeah. was in the corn? It could have been, or it could just mean she's in this crystal. Yeah. You guys are right near the front of the open garage. There's the workbench with the crystal on it, a set of keys, a little skull dangling off of them, and then that thing of tea. You hear the noise of the oh. dance rehearsal in the other room starting to wrap up. Okay, Should we steal I'm those keys go, and that crystal? You yes. guys go yeah. steal it. I'm gonna go knock on the door and just try to distract them. Great. Can I use Mage Hand to um, grab the crystal? I think it's gonna be- You can use Mage Hand to grab that crystal and those keys right now. Great, okay. I do that. You get the crystal in your hand, you grab the keys, uh, you see that there is a sick hot rod right so, there. You guys want to go for That's a ride? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Is there anything else? Can I look around? Maybe let's get the tea to get yeah, I know how to so drive. So that we can get an antidote. Uh, 27, 25. Uh, you see there's a little tea bag right next to it, but it has a little letter drawn in a script you don't recognize two Johnny Spells. Okay. Grab that grab from the police. Yeah. Uh, cool, you grab it, you guys hop in that car. As you hop out, the, le the door opens behind you. You see Johnny at the front look out, and one of the smaller tieflings says, Johnny, they're getting in your car! Does anybody know Trying how to drive? Trying to get shit faced. Johnny Spells goes, all right, gang, <laughs> let's rumble. No. Well, that's all for today on Dimension 20. But be not afraid. Do not shed a tear. There are two more full episodes that you may watch right now on Dropout. Just 
venture to dropout.tv and begin your free trial at once! Hey! Bye, Helio! Maybe. <laughs> I... <laughs>